During the typical capacitive sensing firmware development process, the user will jump between code development work in the Simplicity IDE and performance examination in the capacitive sensing profiler. We will show an example of this workflow here in this walkthrough. In this example, we'll show how to optimize touch qualification thresholds for an application. We'll start in the Simplicity IDE with a code example configured to use thresholds for sensing without an overlay while using a board that contains a 1 16th inch thick overlay. In the IDE, you can see the threshold settings by opening the file projectconfig.h. The touch threshold is defined as def active sensor delta. This value is defined relative to each sensor's baseline value as shown. Build and download the example using the debug tool in the IDE, as shown here. After downloading has completed, switch to the profiler and click Use Device to connect to the device's serial stream. Now let's see where thresholds are being placed by the algorithm. We limit the graphical view to a single channel so that we can clearly view the data. Let's add in thresholds so that we can see where the algorithm is placing them relative to the channel's baseline. When the selected channel, CS41 on the F970 development kit target board, is touched, we can see the delta on the screen immediately. Notice that because we have a 1 16th inch overlay on the board we're configuring, the full touch delta still falls below the thresholds we're currently using. We can click on the vertically oriented bracket on the left side of the graphical view to get a better idea of what the touch delta is. Based on that information, we can determine where the thresholds should be configured. In this case, the touch delta is closer to about 300 codes. Switch to the IDE and go to the projectconfig.h file again and set the active and inactive deltas so that the thresholds match the performance we saw in the profiler. In this case, we'll set the active delta to 250 and the inactive delta to 200. We separate the inactive and active deltas so that there is some hysteresis between the touched and released states, which prevents flicker or rapid on-off transitions when a lightly touched sensor's touch delta rises to just above the active delta threshold. Download the image with the new thresholds. Let's switch back to the profiler and look at the same channel we examined earlier. Now, when the sensor is touched, we see the touch delta clearly rise above the touch threshold. We can see by the horizontally oriented bracket above the touch that the firmware has qualified the touch as expected. This iterative development process enables the refinement of the Silicon Labs Capacitive Sense library on actual hardware to ensure the best performance for the application. For more information on what you've seen here, see AN0828 Capacitive Sensing Library Overview and AN0829 Capacitive Sensing Library Configuration Guide on the Silicon Labs website and also available in Simplicity Studio by clicking the Application Notes tile.